So essentially what the Lord is saying is that if there is doubt in the heart, that's the key. He says, guard your heart with all diligence. Why? Because out of the heart flow the issues of life. And so that flow is what he's dealing with, like, like an electrical charge, a flow from the heart of doubt. He says, if that's the situation, he says, the tongue lacks the pure charge of transformative power. It requires to override natural law, which is to, again, overwrite it, bringing it into conformity with the written law of God. Namely, that Christ is risen and it is finished. So the Lord asks them, what is your it that rebels against the reality of his completed works? His completed process of liberating us. What is your it? When he says it is finished and there's something in your life that's trying to mock that as if he didn't really say that and it is not really so. Whether that's sickness that's some kind of disease, that's some kind of brokenness in your family, uh, spiritual strongholds that have yet to be broken and have traveled for generations through your bloodlines, the Lord is like, no. Know your authority and power in me, in Christ. It is finished. He's not. I, he says, I'm not a man that I should lie to you. I have spoken to you absolute truth that liberates you. So that's what he's talking to us about is coming after coming for everything that he paid for in blood coming we got to confiscate all of these things that the lord paid for in blood so that his blood is not poured out in vain it is not in vain not on our watch and so i encourage you guys to pray that is our spiritual technology it is superior to every other thing i don't care what ai all of these other avenues to try and transcend the universe in some capacity, know that the Lord has spiritual technology and it is called prayer and it is divine and it is superior to any other thing you've got, any other thing you've got going on. And so ask the Lord, seek the Lord, knock on his door, the door of his heart, 